This is Vlogmas day 11. Let's go! Well, I'm all for Christmas. All the happy smiles and the wishes And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe Hey guys, welcome to the vlog This is day 11 of Vlogmas It's a new week and we're trotting along guys Just a moment, if you know, you know This is Spice Bun from Jamaica that my parents brought yeah for all those Jamaicans drop a comment down below if you're Jamaican and watching vlogmas you know thanks to all my Jamaican peeps who are supporting me on this vlogmas journey if it's your first time here on this channel welcome if you're a regular subscriber welcome back it's a Monday morning and I'm dropping Miss Jada to school the plans for vlogmas today my Christmas tablescape. I'm a little nervous because I'm still not absolutely sure or sold on what I'm doing. I created a centerpiece yesterday and that thing is so heavy, especially with the water inside. I styled my ellipse vase with some floating candles and guys, I think it's so heavy. I had my husband move it around to the dining room and I'm, whatever I'm doing with that tablescape, I cannot move that ellipse base. It is too heavy. Husband's gone to work, so I gotta stick with wherever he put it. It's gotta stay. So we're gonna create that tablescape today with that ellipse base stationary because homegirl cannot, not will not, cannot move it. Okay? So exciting times to style that tip. We're gonna be doing the table today and I'm going to be hashtagging Tablescape Tuesdays. It's a collaboration with Grace Life DIY and Home Decor and Amethyst Adventures. They do Tablescape every Tuesday and you will be seeing this on Tablescape Tuesdays, okay? So today is a Tablescape day. So if you are dressing your table for Christmas, especially if you're hosting the family, this video is for you. Okay guys, so I am going to shoot my tablescape, so I kind of want it to look a little decent, but I have to run on the road real quick to see if I can get some napkins. The napkins I have are fine, but I just, I'm just tired of them. I'm just going to try to get some more neutral napkins um, that I can use throughout the year as well, but I want to do it before I pick up Miss Jada, so I'm running to Target real quick, and then I pick her up. Keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. The snow is falling down, and the storm is on its way. But as long as you're around, Everything will be okay Cause all I wanna do is spend this holiday with you Tomorrow it is Christmas The first for me and you I longed for this moment To have you for myself In a cabin I I'm 
Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. Another year went by, but the difference is this time. Okay, so I'm about to dress this table and the challenge here is to keep it simple. So with that being said, I'm cleaning first. I cannot move the ellipse vase from the middle. I already told you I'm confined to whatever was happening in the center. So I was thinking I want the table to be dark, as in romantic dark. Um, so although it's minimal, it's from an inverted perspective. Instead of white being the base, I want darks to be the base. So I have a dark brown wooden table and I'm going to be working up the blacks. So I didn't want the runner to run all the way to the edges. That look I did not want for this tablescape. So because I had no choice, I couldn't remove it completely, which I wasn't sure I wanted to do anyway. I thought the best balance would be to turn under some of the length of the runner and there I go. So now I'm going to be using a, just a charger and a plate. I'm not going to use the mats this time around because I want the profile to be low and I want it to be as simple as possible. So I'm using these black plates from Walmart and those chargers from Hobby Lobby. The utensils I got on Amazon, I bought them in two different sets. As you can see, my table has eight plate settings, so I bought enough. I think I got 12 sets in all. And for the napkins, I'm being very simple. I'm actually tying a little loose knot. A, lot, a knot that looks like you're not making much effort. And then, then I'm going to use a little bit a uh, piece of stem that I've been using all Christmas from the sets I got from Amazon and the pine cone and that's it for the plate settings guys very simple so the most of the fuss is about the knot and there are different ways I could show you as you have seen me do a video already with different ways of styling your napkins this is one of the simpler ones and I chose to go with that today and I'm going to be using a little piece of green stem but instead of sticking the stem in straight I'm trying to to bend it into a circle almost to make it look like a tiny wreath and then I couldn't figure out how I wanted to put it onto the napkin so I decided that I was going to slide it in almost like in a circular motion to get that half of our wreath vibe let me know in the comments how you like the way I use the stem on this table setting. Oh guys, these napkins were from Target. I actually got them today because I wanted to change the napkins I had. Not because anything was wrong with them, but I was just literally tired of using the same cream napkins. So I opted for this one because I thought the texture would be best with the tying of the knots. And here is my ellipse styling, my ellipse vase. I styled it in yesterday's vlog and um, it was placed in the center of the table for me. So I had to work around it because of how heavy it was, as I mentioned earlier. I'm putting a few picks into the garland and I did not mention the garland. It's the Sonoma, Sonoma Cypress Garland from Walmart. These garlands are lovely guys. They're mixed with cypress the cypress and it's mixed with Sonoma so it has the traditional fur that keeps the wreath in form and then it has the loose kind of vibe like the noble fur not quite the noble fur but the cypress but it's looser and it's more elegant so it's a mix so the whole thing looks it comes together pretty well and that's what I'm using as the base the green backdrop for my beautiful beautiful ellipse z gallery vase which is the focal point of this centerpiece and it has the floating candles there that i am about to light and that's it guys for this tablescape i really hope you like the vibe it's pretty simple but it's still cozy and it has the spirit of christmas still going on 
Let me know in the comments how you like this tablescape, guys. And as I'm about to present this table in the final reveal, you will notice that I also added some pine cones on the table settings and some gold bells on the garland also to help with the embellishment. Thank you guys for staying with me towards the end of this vlog and for my Tablescape Tuesday crew. Thank you for joining us on this vlogmas video if you are not yet subscribed to my channel i hope you consider subscribing like this video and make a comment if this is the kind of content you like to watch here on youtube so guys as i always say stay positive stay productive love yourself guys peace out Christmas